Hi, my name is Martin Simpsonstock. I am the Sales and Product Marketing Manager here at Comprehensive. Today we're going to go over twisted pair, or you might have heard UTP cables. Uh, UTP standing for unshielded twisted pair. Now this cabling is available in plenum and non-plenum versions. And just to break down what twisted pair actually is, is you might have heard there are several different categories. You have uh, category 5, category 5E, category 6, and even category 7. Now what differentiates the categories between each other is how many twists per foot. Now if you notice there are actually eight conductors on this cable. They're all twisted together in pairs. So you have two pair, you have a pair here, a pair here, a pair and them right there. All twisted together. Now that reduces the amount of EMI, electromagnetic interference, or RFI, radio frequency interference. What we do is the cable is all twisted together like that further reducing, so the amount of shielding that is even needed, and in some cases you don't need shielding at all. Now one of the things uh, you might have seen this cable used for is for connecting computers, uh, networks in, in buildings or offices. There are two types of cables. Now they look perfectly similar other than the fact that one is red and one is blue. Um, this is a standard Cat5 cable. This is a crossover cable. Now. Otherwise, just looking at the connectors, there's no way to tell what the difference is between these things. A, cat, a standard Cat5 cable, if you have a multiple computer system and you're hooking up, say, 10 or 12 computers to a main computer, it goes in through a hub. That's where you use a standard Cat5 cable. If you just need to connect two computers together, you would use a crossover cable. Because what it has to do is it has to read and send the signals back between each computer. With a standard cable configuration, it will only read one way. With a crossover cable, it will have bidirectionality. Uh, that's really the only difference between a patch, you know, standard patch and a crossover cable. Uh, there really isn't too much more. They're very common nowadays. They're used for extending a lot of products uh, in USB and VGA extenders. The USB cable or VGA signal is plugged into a small box. The wire transmission is sent over a Cat5 cable, which can run longer distances, and then broken out at the other end, and back to your VGA, HDMI, or USB signal. If you have any other questions on these or anything else computer-related, please contact us on the website at www.comprehensiveinc.com. Thank you.